Offshoring used to be a buzzword for British industry, with company after company shifting its production to lower-cost countries. Call centres and manufacturing were examples. But now there are signs that the opposite is happening as some businesses relocate production in the UK. Our chief economics correspondent Hugh Pym reports on what some are calling reshoring. An iconic name and a hobby down the generations. There's plenty of national pride invested in making models like the Spitfire, though for many years the plastic parts have come from sources well beyond the UK. But these ones really are made in Britain. At this factory in Sussex, they're manufacturing all the bits in a new range of models for Airfix. The company pitched for the business against foreign suppliers and won the order. Rising wages in Asia mean the British company can now compete. We've seen prices rising in China and in India, and it's not automatically a decision now that we go straight to, to the Far East to see product produced. It's a trend which is gathering pace. Airfix is part of Hornby, which owns several toy brands. It's now looking at bringing others back to the UK. The advantage being that the turnaround time for new orders is that much quicker. Manufacturing in the UK meant that we could pick up the phone and say, look guys, can you put on an extra shift? We need more products. And they were able to respond to that there and then. The next week we had product back on the shelves. If that had been in Asia, clearly that would have been almost a four-week gap. Just look around your home and you'll find things once made abroad which are now manufactured in Britain. A bathroom products company has just started making this range of tiles in Wigan. This extractor fan was manufactured in the Far East. And these instant noodles, well they were made in China, but the British company behind the brands is now making them in Leeds. And don't think it's a few quirky niche items. Some mainstream manufacturing is being moved back home, like cookers here on Merseyside. The company's launched a Made in Britain campaign and is a fan of what a local workforce can offer. When you look at uh, making products in this country now in terms of supply chain, skilled people making our products, uh, that we can train people easier, uh, and also uh, this country is becoming more competitive uh, as a nation, it made sense to bring products back here. By bringing much of its work back to the UK, the company's created around 200 new jobs. Across the economy, manufacturing employment has increased over the last year or so, but it's still well below where it was 10 years ago, and unions say there's still a long way to go. There is a trend, but not as um, big and ambitious as we'd like to see. We've lost around half a million jobs in manufacturing since the recession, and unemployment is still relatively high. So we need to create more jobs in Britain and bring jobs back. It's early days for this process, but some companies like this one, which makes eco-friendly laundry products, have both moved back to the UK and started exporting. It's made in Britain and sold to China. Hupim, BBC News. So is. Uh...